There is obvious concern tonight for the safety of Americans in Israel, among them some local college students. We get that story now from WBZ's Laura Hayfley. We're learning tonight three Northeastern students are currently in Israel. The school tells me they're working quickly to evacuate those students and get them home as soon as possible. But it's just one example of how this conflict is affecting people here at home. The international community is speaking out against the deadly attacks in Israel carried out by Hamas militant groups. The violence must stop. U.S. Senator Ed Markey spoke to reporters in Boston on Saturday, calling on his colleagues to take action. We need to ensure that the United States and the international community intervene. Uh, diplomatically. The devastation in Israel casting a wide net, reaching community members in Massachusetts frightened for their loved ones. My spouse woke me this morning with the news. Um, he was already in communication with some of our friends who were in shelters. Lori Lefkowitz is a Rutterman professor of Jewish studies at Northeastern with a history of taking students on trips to the region. In one case, we were there during the Gulf War and uh, the university spirited us home, you know, a week early. And now Northeastern tells WBZ they are once again working quickly to evacuate students. I received an email today from the upper administration, the office of the president. Um, they immediately reached out to the three students um, who they know of who are on co-op in Israel right now. Do you know if they're okay? All were fine, but it's frightening. I did just receive an email from a local colleague, a Professor Emerita um, at Northeastern, who, whose friend lost a daughter and son-in-law today and um, managed to save the life of their baby. There is a um, tremendous number of us um, of all stripes who have connections to Israel. As soon as we have an update on the whereabouts of those three students, of course, we will let you know. In the Satellite Center, Laura Hayfleet, WBZ News.